Hey guys, so today I am going to be showing you two different ways on how to make your very own puff paint. Well, I found both of these recipes from YouTube and I will link the videos that I found them from in the description. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. For the first recipe, you are going to need some shaving cream, some white glue, and some food coloring. You are also going to need a container that can hold your puff paint. To start off, I am just adding some glue to my container. It doesn't matter how much glue you add as long as it's equal to the amount of shaving cream you add. As you can see, I tried to add my shaving cream here in the future, I would definitely mix this batch in a different container and pour it into my squeeze bottle once it had been mixed. The finished product you see here took a long time to get, so I definitely recommend trying to make up your batch in a separate container before putting it in the squeeze bottle. To mix all the ingredients, I tried shaking the bottle for a very long time, but this ended up not working out so well, so I had to eventually use a chopstick to mix up all of the ingredients. After a ton of mixing, this is how it came out. It's not perfectly mixed, but it was as good as I could get it. The second recipe I'm trying out only requires Mod Podge and acrylic paint. Since my can of Mod Podge is brand new, I was able to just stick a small hole in the top of it and it was really easy to pour in. However, if you're using an old can of Mod Podge, I would definitely recommend using a funnel. So here you can see I'm just adding a little bit of acrylic paint to give it a color. You can pick any color you choose, but I chose yellow for mine. This mixture ended up being a lot easier to mix, and I think that's because of the fact that it's more liquid based than the other one. So I'm going to be testing the two different puff paints on parchment paper. First, I am going to try the yellow Mod Podge mixture. It's very liquidy and easy to use. Now I'm trying out the shaving cream mixture and it's definitely a little bit harder to get out of the container. However, that might just be the container that I was using as well. And just to have something to compare both of these puff paints to, I'm also adding a little strip of regular white glue. I let these sit out to dry for a couple hours and the Mod Podge dried very shiny and it felt a lot like normal puff paint. The purple puff paint felt a lot more fragile and delicate compared to the yellow Mod Podge mixture. And then the schooled glue dried completely clear and did not puff out at all. Since the yellow puff paint is so much more sturdy than the purple puff paint, I would recommend using it for projects that are going to be used more frequently, while the purple should just be used for drawings or paintings. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful so now you can make your own puffy paint. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below what other videos I should do, and subscribe so you never miss a video. Bye guys!